Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I just uh, made two videos earlier before this uh, one, one with uh, the biggest Russian missile and drone attack on Ukraine in the past um, few months, since spring to be more exact. Uh, and the other one is uh, two um, Russian jets attacked two boats, military boats in the Black Sea by the Snake Island, uh, destroying them, sinking them. Two uh, videos. Now, this one is the Ukrainians returning the favor, uh, let's say. And they attacked Moscow in such a way, not only Moscow, the, but Russia in such a way that it hasn't been attacked uh, so far. This is the biggest drone assault on its territory. About four or five oblasts attacked um, military airfields and uh, with drones. Some say the drones might have been, could have been coming from Estonia or Latvia. The Russians are investigating. And that is about the Pskov um, attack, which is about 50 kilometers from the border with these two NATO countries and about uh, 500 kilometers from the border of Ukraine. Therefore, very strange. I covered this um, incident in a video last night, the attack on Pskov, uh, where they say they destroyed four IL, I can't remember, IL-26 or 24 or 76 uh, military transport planes, four of them. I covered it yesterday. So let's focus on what happened with all this drone attack. I will not... Um, focus on the attack on Piskov because I did it yesterday. So I got three articles, uh, actually four articles coming from, I think from CNN uh, and uh, from the Ukrainians, from the Russians, I think from the Brits, uh, we'll find out. Here it is, CNN. This is from um, today, August 30th, 2023. Russia sees biggest drone assault on its own territory since invading Ukraine as Kiev strikes back through the skies. So here it is. And uh, they talk about um, Russia has seen the biggest drone attack on its territory since it launched its war on Ukraine, while, Mo while Moscow killed two men in a near simultaneous bombardment of Kiev as the aerial intensity of the conflict reached uh, ratchet up. I cover that in uh, earlier today. Six Russian regions, including Moscow, came under attack early Wednesday today, while in the city of Peskov, the one I was talking about, near Estonian border, several transport planes were reportedly damaged when drones targeted an airport. Russian officials haven't reported any casualties and claim to have thwarted almost all of the strikes. They reported that in Peskov, some uh, the, the military transport planes might have been hit. Kiev officials, meanwhile, said Russia hit the Ukrainian capital with massive bombardments. This is a different uh, topic. I already covered that, already covered that today, earlier in a video. So go and check that out. Let's move to the next one, which comes from San Diego Tribune. So it says, Ukrainian drones strike deep inside, deep in Russian territory, Moscow says, while a barrage in Kiev kills two. I'm not going to focus on that one. I already did. So, you, uh, let's see where I have this one here. Okay. So, with at least six regions of Russia targeted, the barrage appeared to be the most extensive Ukrainian drone attack on Russian soil uh, since the war began 18 months ago. Let's see. The Kremlin has reportedly accused the Ukrainian military of cross-border incursion on the Belgorod region of Russia and uh, launching drones towards Moscow. Let's see well, uh, where Belgorod is. All right. Belgorod is right here. This is area where they're talking about Belgorod, this area. So let's go back to this. I think this is the article right here. So aerial attacks on Russia has have escalated recently as Ukraine pursues a counteroffensive to drive out Moscow's forces. Blah 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 tra la la. Now they talk about the airport of Pskov region that I covered yesterday, about seven hundred kilometers. Sorry, not five. Seven hundred kilometers, four hundred miles north of the Ukrainian border, and 
700 kilometers, 400 kilometers miles from Moscow, but that is um, 50 kilometers from the border with Estonia. I covered that one and other regions. Now here are other regions hit where Oriol 400 kilometers, which is 240 miles south of Moscow, as well as Ryazan and Kaluga, which are both 200 kilometers, which is 120 miles south of the capital. Also hit was Bryansk, which, which borders Ukraine according to Russian uh, Defense Ministry. So let's go with, to the Bryansk for, first and then we're going to go to Oriolo, Oriol, uh, Ryazan and Kaluga. So this is Bryansk, right? Bryansk, it's right here. This is, uh, and let's see where Moscow is, right here. So Bryansk, Kaluga is right here. Ryazan is right here. So already got uh, an Oriol. So this is this is the area where they, uh, except Tula area, I don't know what this is. But anyways, these are, this is another oblast. So Ryazan here, they hit in this area. They hit Kaluga, this area. Oriol, this area, and Bryansk here. So is that what it was? Did we miss anybody? No, Oriol right here, Ryazan right here, Kaluga right there, Bryansk right here. All right, three main Moscow airports, temporary halted incoming and outgoing fl flights. So again, let's go over the maps here. Let's put it in a context like this. So from here, they sent Bryansk, Kaluga, Ryazan, and Oriol, this area right here. Okay, let's go to the article coming from the New Voice of Ukraine, which is the one that gives a lot of information over the alleged damage of four IL-76 military transport aircraft in Pskov. Now, Pskov is, I'm going to show you this map here, is north of everything. So, is somewhere up here where my hand is, a little bit higher. Because here is uh, um, Estonia in this area. So it's north here, south of St. Petersburg. So let me actually show you the map. All right, here we go. Uh, Puskov is right here by Latvia and Estonia. So I'm going to make it bigger. Actually like this. Puskov right here. So they, they tell me or tell us that the Ukrainians sent from here, boom, instead of just click clock. I think it's click clock, not bzz, 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 though, just so you know. So they, they attacked this area and then that one in Pskov by Estonia and Latvia. The Russians already started an investigation. And what happens if they find out uh, Klip Klop did it? Then we're in bad shape. So let's go back to this article. Widespread drone attacks target key assets deep inside Russia. Correct. Now they tell us after burn, after enduring pop pop pop, August sending waves of drones to hit military and military related targets across Euro European Russia. Now they tell us about uh, Pliskov here. We don't care about it, and it says that um, the drone attack on Russian appears to have been the most massive since the beginning of Russia's full scale invasion. All right, if it will be full scale, they will have about 30 million attacking you and using nuclear weapons and destroy you in three seconds, which they didn't. The drones attack targets at, uh, in at least six Russian oblasts. Ps -ps Pskov, we already know that one. Bryansk, we know that one. Orel, uh, we know that one. Why Orel? Because they call this one differently, probably. Oriol, they call it Orel. Hey, that's the way they want it. That's the way they have it. Ryazan, Kaluga, and Moscow. So then they introduce Moscow as well. So we got everything here but this right here, Tula. So we got Moscow, Kaluga, Bryansk, Oriol, Ryazan. All right, my boy, let's go. All right, local authorities everywhere claimed to have repelled the attacks, while the Russian Defense Ministry did not mention the strike on Pskov at all. That's a lie. I covered it yesterday. So they did, my boy. When did you write this bullshit? Oh, today at 4.29 a.m. I covered it in a video yesterday, and uh, they already said I mentioned the Russian, that was Sputnik, and I also mentioned the Ukrainian, um, the Ukrainians, uh, I can't remember which one it was, uh, Ukrainska Pravda, whatever. And they tell us about that, that's true, what happened. It says the Russian Telegram news channel shot report, uh, reported that 10 to 12 drones that attacked the airbase of Pskov. They said 15, but hey, what do you want? 
a lot of them destroyed. Meanwhile, in Russia's Bryansk, the roof of administrative buildings, okay, we got that covered. And here is just information on other attacks on um, Ukraine and Russia because they both uh, were very busy be, busy bees bzz, during the night. The Russians, as I said, uh, mentioned at the beginning of this video, uh, to attack bo boats or speed boats by Snake Island in the Black Sea, destroyed by Suhoi 30, Suhoi 24, two of them, a bomber and a fighter jet, whatever it is. And then it was a massive Russian attack, I think 44 drones and missiles attacked. Um, it was... Um, can't remember them uh, i'm gonna see because it's right here they attacked uh some oblast and kiev then they did um they attacked cherhasi kiev and let me show you just since we are at it so they attack odessa region they attack nikolaev region they attack cherhasi and they attack kiev so this were where the, the russians attack south central and north just so you know go and watch that video i just made it is hot 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 Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.